This hack tip is brought to you by the all-new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today we are figuring out what sites are saving my passwords in plain text using Wireshark. Dun dun dun! So let's start off with a real world example of just what happens whenever I log into Twitter. So this is supposed to all go through SSL or HTTPS encryption. If this is so, then I shouldn't see any plain text passwords running around in Wireshark. Plain text is referred to a site whenever the site is serving up your password for everybody to see with no encryption enabled whenever you log in to their site. A website should never do this. Also, they should never store your password in plain text. But the general public has no way of telling if they do, so I always recommend using a password manager for most sites and using a different randomly generated password for every single website. Password managers are awesome. So when I log into Wireshark, I see all these TCP transactions. I don't see a bunch of HTTP ones like we showed last week. Now I know that there are, these are gonna be from Twitter because I did a quick who is lookup of the IP address just because it was easy. I just stuck the IP address in the search bar of Chrome and then I did who is, and then I just Googled this 199 and then ends in .39 IP address. And turns out, yay, that's in San Francisco and it belongs to Twitter. Surprise. Now, under the information column over here, if we take a look, everything's in blue because I made it blue because it's pretty. So we have TCP segment, reassemble PDU, a bunch that start with 433, acknowledgements. So there's a bunch of stuff going on over here. So what does it all mean? Well, I found a bunch of packets that start with this 433. Turns out 433 is associated with SSL over HTTP. Okay. So we know that we found the login process for logging into Twitter because the IP is Twitter. Now next we can look for a packet that says application data in the information field. So if I scroll down and here we go. Okay, so here's a whole bunch with application data in the info field. Now, if I scroll down to my middle section here, I'll go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. There's a section down here called secure sockets layer in the middle window, and if I max this area out, I should see a line of encrypted data. So on the very, very bottom down here, we see encrypted application data, and then a whole bunch of gobbledygook that doesn't make a lot of sense. Now these packets are the unreadable SSL version of your username and your password and whatever else you might be transmitting to Twitter. Boom, I found my encrypted password, maybe, but I can't tell because it's encrypted. Awesome. Thank you, Twitter, for doing things right. Now, now I want to show you some plain text fun. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a different file. I went ahead and just saved them all because it was easier. Plain text passwords. They're so scary. There we go. Boom. Okay. So I just happened to find a site called popculture.com.au that serves up your username and password in plain text. Now, I need to mention here that I am for all purposes attacking myself on my own network. I have been given full authority to attack myself via Wireshark, and this is purely for demonstration purposes. If you plan to try this demo yourself, do it on a network that you are fully obliged to do so on. This site is in question, is not being attacked. I am attacking myself. Now, first thing that you can notice about sites like this is that they default to HTTP, for example, if you do it on Internet Explorer. They don't default to HTTPS. Hello, HTTPS everywhere, awesome browser add-on, cool thing for Chrome. Now, when we log on, we get a whole bunch of HTTP packets flowing from this website. Now, if I go ahead and click on protocol, one of the first things you will see up here is these couple of HTTP packets. Now one says customer account login post. That's kind of weird. So if I click on this one and then I scroll down in this middle section because it says customer account login post, that's kind of interesting. So I will go ahead and scroll this up so it's a little bit bigger. If I scroll all the way down, oh, look at that. Hmm. Notice how you can see my username and my password. I am a dog is a cat. That's a terrible password. Wow, seriously, I was just sitting there doing my cute little pink manicure last night while I was surfing on Wireshark and I was able to capture my own login details in plain text. 
Think about what happens to folks that are just sitting in a coffee shop, logging into plain text sites and all the stuff that they could find out. I mean, what if somebody uses the same username and password here that they use on you know, their tax documents that they're trying to return this year? Not good. Somebody could steal your identity. It's not hard and this information is widely available. So dear web servers and operators, do me a favor and you know, just put some encryption on your site. Just encrypt your stuff, please. Just default to HTTPS. Do something. Don't just let people log in with plain text. That's such a bad idea. And don't store them in plain text either. <sighs> now, enough of my venting. I wanted to show you how that works and what it looks like whenever you find these plain text issues. Definitely let websites in question know about the problem so that they can fix it. Let me know what you think. Of course, you can send a comment below or email us tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust. This hack tip is brought to you by the all-new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good.